Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DaVinci Resolve Discord server, which, if you are not already familiar with, it's a great place to hang out with other members of the DaVinci Resolve community and get your questions answered in real time. This Discord server has been full of active members for two years, and we do not plan on slowing down anytime soon. The community in this server is amazing, and we have already helped hundreds if not thousands of users. Currently we have about 5,000 members, but we want to double it by the end of the year. Aside from offering great support and an amazing community, this Discord server also has exclusive discounts from a bunch of DaVinci Resolve creators, video editing competitions with great prizes, and endless resources that'll make you a better editor. The staff and I are always looking for ways to add value to the server, and I cannot thank them enough for the amount of effort that they have put into the server to help users and make sure it is not flooded with spam. Okay, so how do you actually join and use the Discord server? Let's take a look at that now. So I'm on a private tab here uh, on a brand new account, so I'll walk you through all the steps. So first what you want to do is go to the link down below. It's going to be jakewhip.com slash discord slash join. And that'll take you to this page, and it's going to be prompting you to join the server. If you hit continue to discord, it'll take you to the server. Once you've set up your Discord account and you've entered the server, you'll be greeted by this welcome screen. So you can see we have a couple of different pages right up at the front here. First off, we have the announcements, we have the rules, the DaVinci Resolve tutorials, also the FAQs. And now you can see we have already been greeted by the bot that is running the server. Now before we actually talk in the server, we have to do a couple of things. First off, come down here to where it says complete. You can click on that, and then you just have to read through all of these rules that we have put into the server. Once you have done that, check I have read and agreed to the rules, and then click the submit button. And now you can actually talk in some of the channels. But now there is one more thing that we need to do. We need to come over to the rules channel, and then come down here to the OK emoji, and when I click on that, you can see all of the other channels appear. So how does Discord work? Well, off on the left side here is going to be all of the different channels. As you can see, we have help channels for each of the DaVinci Resolve pages, and then a couple other topics relating to DaVinci Resolve. First up, we have the announcements category, which is just going to be server announcements and general information. Next up, we have tutorials, and this is going to be posting tutorials from a bunch of different awesome DaVinci Resolve creators. So you'll get notified whenever they upload a new video. Next up, we have the discounts section, which I'm not going to show you until you actually join the server. And then we have a new section called Blackmagic Tweets. So in case you don't have Twitter, anytime Blackmagic posts something on Twitter, it'll be relayed here so you can see it. And then the next channel is for if you do not want all of these notifications. You can see we can opt out of the notifications on tutorials, announcements, and Blackmagic tweets. So if I click any one of those, as you can see, that channel will disappear and you will not get notified anytime someone posts, Blackmagic posts, or I send out an announcement. I would recommend leaving announcements on for sure, just because that can have some really important information at times. Then down at the bottom here, you can opt out of certain channels. So let's say you hate the Fusion page for some reason. Well, what I can do is come down to the Fusion icon here, click that, and the Fusion help channel will disappear, just to kind of clean up the channels uh, on Discord. Below that we have the general tab, which is just going to have general messages, um, and where, where you can hang out with people in the DaVinci Resolve community. Then we have share your work, which is a great spot that you can share your work and give valuable feedback on how you can improve. This section is not for promoting your work, so only post stuff here if you want to get criticism on how you can improve. If you want to just promote your work, you can come down to the promote your work tab and go from there. Alright, so onto the bot command section of this Discord server. Now this is really cool. Anytime you send a message, the Me6 bot is going to give you a certain amount of experience that'll level up over time and you can get different levels and access to new ranks in the server. So to check your level, what you can do is type exclamation mark rank. And this is only works in the bot commands section. As you can see, the Me6 bot is going to respond with a little card that tells me how much experience I have and what level I am. So as you can see, this account has barely any experience but if I take a look at my main account, as you can see, that one is at level 26. If you want to see all the users and their levels at once, you can type exclamation mark levels, and now we can go to the leaderboard. So as you can see, at the top we have Simon Stanfield, and he has sent over 15,000 messages in this Discord server. That's just nuts. So he's at level 52, and it, it requires an insane amount of experience to level up at that point, but he somehow does it. But scrolling down here, you can see a bunch of the most active members in this DaVinci Resolve server. One more useful thing is off on the right, as you can see, a bunch of the different people that are currently online in the server. They're also separated by the different roles. So up at the top, my account is the owner, then we have the YouTubers, and then we have the moderators, the bot, and then these 
down here are going to be the individual ranks. So if you look on the leaderboard, if you hit level 5 you get the active member rank. That allows you to send and promote your work and unlocks an exclusive chat, so try and get to level 5. Once you get to level 10 you get the silver rank, level 20 is gold, and level 30 is diamond. So we only have a couple people that are above level 30. So now that you know how to use a server, now we need you to help share the server and get more people to join. You can either share this video or give them the server invite link, which is jquip.com slash discord slash join. This server works best when there's a bunch of people online and willing to help. But that's going to do it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions and stay tuned for a video editing competition later this year.